when we work with pumps, we're going to need a pump curve. So in front of us is a pump curve or manufacturer's curve as supplied by a manufacturer. So this is giving us the capacity, and this example is in gallons per minute, so that is a volumetric flow rate, and it's giving us the total head in feet. So on this curve, we are going to find various different things. The first one is going to be the actual pump curve or the manufacturer's curve, which is following these lines here. The first one for 7 inch, the next one for 6.5, 6, 5.5, and, six, five and, a half, and 5. So each of these curves are telling us what head or the total head in feet is available from a specific pump. So when we buy a pump and install it in our facility, what head would we be able to get? So let's just say, for example, if we pump at 40 gallons per minute with a pump that we use a six inch impeller, so a six inch impeller, and it will give us a roughly 40 odd head, feet of head. If we had to increase the flow rate to a hundred, let's just say, for example, again on that same pump curve with six inch, we're now going to not be able to have as much of a total head and the value that we'll be able to get is lower. So the main role for this pump curve is to give us a relationship between the capacity, the flow rate that our pump can deliver and the amount of head or the energy in feet. It's a distance value that we can get from the pump that we have bought. So not all pump curves, but a lot of the decent pump curves at least, will also give us some additional information. On this one, we have lines running diagonally across these lines, the pump curve, sorry. And at the bottom, they give us values of one HP, half, three quarters. So this is the horsepower or the power that would be required to deliver the performance that we are looking for at our specific operating point. The last thing we can get on this diagram are these U shapes here which is the efficiency. So when we've bought our pump and we're trying to operate it, depending on what operating point we're in, we will be able to work out what efficiency. So the further to the right I go here, that's lower, and towards the middle we can see there's a 68% efficiency if we are on that line of our for our operating point for this specific pump. So apologies for the messiness of this diagram, but just to show you another example of a pump curve, in this one, here we again have the pump curves, so they flow down and get a lower head as we increase the volumetric flow rate. This time, each of these lines is for a different RPM, so if we, have, we speed up the pump or slow it down, we get a different pump curve. This time, it's for a 5-inch impeller. There is a similar example to this one, where we have 4, sorry, it's 4.5 and, and a 5-inch lines which flow for a similar style so please have a look at that one as well again we can also see on this one that we have the horsepower values there's one there's two three i've missed it slightly and there's five for the horsepower and again we also have the efficiency this pump is slightly more efficient we have 80 percent 79 and 77 percent efficiency as there just to re-emphasize this curved or these curves rather not this one in particular but all of these are the curves that you'll get specifically to a pump so when you buy a pump or you get a pump you can get a curve like this one or the previous one that comes with the pump in a test or an exam i will always give you this one for you or a curve similar to this one for you to use and you need to use this and figure out how the system curve fits on this so that you can find your operating point